Hi everyone, it's Josh with the Josh Shirty Dozen. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast and see how happy you are. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Alicia going to a Halloween store to shop for like a thousand dollars worth of Halloween costumes for her and her daughters or something like that. People are like, Josh, you got to cover this. Here's how I gauge whether or not to cover a Dr. Dozen video, okay? There's so many videos that they do that are all, and they're all bad. But when I get like a hundred messages about one video, that means I'm going to snark on that video. That's how this works. So that's what we're doing here. So let's go. So if you're new to this channel, okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. But the Dr. D Dozen is one of the fastest growing family vloggers on the internet, especially on YouTube. She stumbled upon a literal gold mine. Like it's better than winning the lottery. Better. I say that because I don't know why. It's just better. They make so much money. It's mind blowing. And I hope they're saving it. Now, um, what she does is she spends literally thousands of dollars a week on shitty food. Not all shitty food, but 80% of the food she buys for her children is bad. She doesn't teach the kids any responsibility or anything. And again, she has kids with FASD, with issues, attachment issues, probably ODD. She probably has kids with massive amounts of childhood trauma and does nothing to help them. Now, people are like, well, except for the fact that they bring them into their home. Okay, I get that. They're taken from a bad situation. So we'll always give props to, to foster parents and adoptive parents who do that because it does. It definitely takes a special person. And to give her the credit where it's due, she didn't do that to make money on YouTube because she's had them for a while before she got famous. Okay? So I will give her credit. She didn't adopt kids like Micah Stoffer to get famous and get money. Okay? But it inadvertently turned into that. Now she has a choice to make. She can continue down this path where she's going in kids' rooms, showing them where they live, showing all their medical diagnosis, taking them to the doctor, giving everybody every little bit of information because it pays her. It's crazy. If Alicia just stopped talking about her children, I probably would stop talking about her. Well, she'd have to take all that other shit down too. But I wonder if she would survive just on the shopping and the cooking alone without talking about her children. Because I don't think it's actually necessary for her to do that. I really don't. Because her big videos, rarely the kids are even in them. But some of her other videos where she talks about the deep, dark medical secrets of their children, they get a lot of views too. So I wonder if she just isn't aware yet. I don't know. But she deserves to be snarked on because she's gross. Just the one fact alone that she admits on the internet every single one of her foster adopted kids have FASD. Which if you don't know what FASD is, it's kids who are born alcoholics, basically. They're born with the damaging effects of alcoholism in their bodies. And she drinks all the time. And her kids are stealing her alcohol. It is so stupid and dangerous. I'm going to say something. I might say something. This might be a little bit controversial. But if you're going to adopt or foster, okay... I think the rule should be that if you're going to bring a child in that, that has FASD or substance abuse issues from their past or their parents did or whatever, you should not be allowed to have it. There should be home studies and say, nope, no alcohol. This, this is a, we're going to send these kids to a non-alcoholic home. Okay. Like no alcohol whatsoever. You should have to be able to agree to that. And if you don't, then don't take those kids. That's what I'm telling That's how much more traumatizing it is to have someone like who, ch because alcohol, no matter what you guys believe, no matter what you guys, some of you hate on me for, for hating alcohol, no matter what, I don't care who you are. Alcohol will change who you are. That's why people drink it, right? That's why they consume it. They want to be different. They want to bury a thing. They want to be funny. They want to, it gives you boldness. It, 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 it gives you a good time. And for sure, a lot of people have a good time doing it. But you can't argue with me that alcohol changes who you are. And to these kids who need sturdiness, who need structure, who need to know that the parent is in control, when she drinks and becomes someone different, that's going to trigger their past. That's going to trigger their trauma. And she doesn't understand that, and that's really, really scary. Or she does understand it and doesn't care, which is worse. All right, so just had to get that out of the way so we can snark. Fresh, fresh palette with snark. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dockery Dozen. Hey, creepy makeup baby's back. Yeah. She's hanging out in everybody's room. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Welcome to the show. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Halloween episode, so of course we had to bring creepy, creepy Makeup Baby. If you don't know who Creepy Makeup Baby is, she is OG on this channel. OG. And we are doing a girl's day. Yeah. 
Cryptid Spirit Halloween because next week we're going to Comic Con and we need to get ready. Okay. Let me stop you there again, you moron. You literally just told the entire internet and all the creeps and predators who watch you of the 900,000 subscribers that you have, Alicia, let me tell you that there's at least 500 predators in your audience. At least. If not way more, I'm just being very conservative. Now, you just told everybody where you and your 12 children are going to be in a busy conference in New York City where you obviously don't watch your children. You just said that. You moron. I don't know what... Can someone... T maybe she isn't watching this shit. Could someone tell her, please? Someone? Stop telling people where you're going to be, you idiot. Do it after you're done it. Post if you have to after you're done. Not before you go. Holy shit. Like, what if I was going to Comic-Con in New York City? What if I was going? And what would happen if you saw me? I'm just there to ask you a couple questions. What would you do, you idiot? You're such an idiot. Trigger warning, there is some scary jump scares. Like this? <laughs> ah, jump scare time! Stuff in this store. You will be like death walked over, my friend. This is good. It is crazy that Halloween has become as big as... When I grew up, Halloween was not this big. And I don't know what has changed. Influencer culture, perhaps. Because it's an opportunity to get dressed up and, you know, like a slutty cat or a slutty doll or a slutty nurse or a slutty firefighter or slutty astronaut, slutty waitress, slutty president, slutty librarian, slutty school teacher, slutty dad bod, slutty sumo wrestler, slutty slut, slutty mommy influencer. I mean, it's, just, it's all slutty. I, like, I know people think that I'm super prudent. I can be prudish because I'm just, I'm not worldly. I don't know how else to say it. You know me. You guys know me. Like, I get, like, blushed. I blush deeply crimson when people talk about sex around me. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning. But, again, there needs to be more slutty men costumes just for us. That's creepy. <laughs> Now, I obviously don't show the kids I blow them out, but this girl named Nevea, um, every time you see her in a video, it, whether or not she's, and it looks like she's always being forced to be in a video, to be honest with you, unless it's like they're, she's getting, she gets to buy things. But for, I've read a lot of the Reddit comments and I've watched a few of these. Every time, every time I see this girl, I see nothing but pain in this girl's eyes. That comes from a guy who had trauma as a child, who lived in that world with a bunch of people very similar to me, who adopted kids, who've seen this. You see it. You just see it. As any human being can see another human being, sometimes they show everything on their sleeve. And this Nevea girl is deeply, deeply traumatized or something. And I think Alicia thinks that just going out shopping is going to solve those problems, and it's not. That's what I'm very scared for some of these kids, like Crazy Pieces, Crazy Middles, Doctor New Dozen. I'm so scared for all these families now who are like, oh, we have 15 kids. Let's No, this is wrong what you're doing. This is wrong what you're doing. Because what if that kid doesn't go the path that you think that you want them to go on? Because in adoption and fostering, that's generally the case. The majority of kids who are adopted and fostered, who come from traumatic backgrounds, cycle back into it. Okay? They cycle into it. That's just the numbers. I don't, I'm not making it up. That's how it goes. And so if you are putting all these kids on the internet and their stories and everything else, and then it turns out that they don't just turn out the way you want them to be, all that shit's on the internet. It is not good for them. I'm, I promise you, Alicia, you would be, you are doing these kids a massive disservice by putting them on the internet. You're so gross. Oh my God. Aww. Is this going to be, how long is this shit? Okay, it's only 20 minutes. Thank God. I wonder if she was sponsored. Probably. What's in this year? Because they had the other one last year. What was it? Uh, the thing with the, the Korean show. All right. I am looking for a ring leader costume. Because it's a circus. Get it? Her family is a circus. The Docker Day Circus. I get it. Did you guys get that? I got it. Zoe is looking for an anime costume. Nevea, I'm not sure what she's looking for. Bree, I don't know. Harley is looking for a witch costume. Hair is different since I was a kid. It's different. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Harley yeah. wants a witch costume. A witch costume? Yeah. What did she want? A witch costume. Again, real original. If she wants to be a witch again, I'm sure there's a costume from last year. So I buy a new one. Again, this woman, not frugal in the least at all. Is it cute? Yeah, it's very cute. You should get it. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. Well, which costume are you going to wear? I don't know. Well, we got to figure out. Are we going to be a reaper? Oh. Skeletons. Okay. She found the anime section. I think. But this isn't the one. Those are garbage. When you wanted, right? I don't need These are not expensive enough. But first, White Claw. There's that. Is that what you wanted to be? What? Cora? Let's see. Alright, so we decided on. I am horrible at pronouncing anime characters. Tanjiro? Tanjiro. And now she's got to get the accessories for it. Oh my god. What is there? Hajifuka earrings. This is Tanjiro's scar. Oh! Harley, how about you go step on that one? No. Brace, step on that one. No. It didn't do anything. Oh, that's not. It didn't jump in at you. I want that for my porch, I'm not gonna lie. How much is that? I love Halloween in my I, you know in my house at Halloween? You guys follow me on Instagram. We go trick-or-treating, so I take them around my block, mom watch the house, and then mom takes them around one block, and then uh, what I do is I put a smoke machine under my garage. I open it like this far, like that far. And all the swingers come by. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then all the smoke goes out, and I play like it's the best Halloween music. I've got Thriller on there. I got Spooky Scary Skeletons, Open Gangnam Style, all the songs that the kids love, and they just come to my driveway and dance. It's pretty fun. And uh, I've got the lights going, and fly- I got the strobes happening, and the smoke going. It's crazy. This year I'm gonna get a bigger smoke machine because the one that goes last year, it stops, and I want it not to stop. This year, however. There's this one you can put in your garage. It's like a white f- screen. And I have like three projectors just because I, I don't know why I have, I, I have a problem. But you can project these images of these like monsters grabbing at the screen and stuff like that. I definitely am doing that this year. My house is going to be terrifying. I want childhood trauma when you step onto my property. Sometimes we get Tyson. We dress him in a... Uh, like a black costume that he looks like a scarecrow. We put like straw, so it looks like, you know, people just put scarecrows in chairs and he'll have the, the bowl of candy like next to him. I don't know if he'll be able to do this year, hopefully, but he'll have the bowl of candy and then kids will come up and be like, God, I'm scared the shit out of <laughs> Depends on their age, right? We don't want to obviously, you know, and they, they, they approach quietly, but sometimes he'll like jump or sometimes he'll just be like, he'll move and the kids will freak. It's just... I love Halloween. I, Halloween and Christmas are like, yeah, but I don't like Halloween to be a slutty, you know, to be a slutty fireman or a slutty police officer, or a slutty politician, slutty mechanic or slutty waitress, or slutty monster, slutty food services employee, slutty anime character, slutty Pokemon, slutty Thundercat, slutty creepy makeup baby. That's, that's appropriate. I don't know where I was going with that, but I like Halloween. That's... That's creepy. That's creepy. Don't put creepy babies on your lawn. That's not, that's, that's inappropriate. $120? What do they do? Grab your ankles? Uh, beware flying bats. Wanna go in there? No. Go in there. Okay, let's go in there. Come on, go in there. This is in the jump jump. That is too scary for me. Dare me. Okay. Okay. Uh, get to the costumes, man. This? Yeah. I just step on this right here. Yeah. I'm <laughs> scared. Do it. Just do it. You just stomp on it. Hurry up, lady. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Relax. You know something's coming. It's in Halloween store, and it probably has a warning. Relax. It's a toy. Although that background of that thing with like the lab, I want that too. I was. <laughs> You're done. Okay. Let's get to the thing. Holy shit, she's the worst at this. Reaper costume. Step on that. 
Step on this one? Yeah. You step on it. No, I don't want to and it is so scary. <laughs> okay. Stop stepping on that. You're not, I'll try. Why do people make things like this? <laughs> Sounds like Jess fam laughing her own jokes. <laughs> Looks like Jess fam laughing at her own jokes. <laughs> I just laughed at my own joke. Damn it. Sorry. Yeah. I don't think you have to smash it like that. I think you just have to step on it, like, gently. And I don't think you have to step on anything. I think it's just like, you get close enough and it works. <laughs> okay, let's keep shopping. You gotta come with this side. Come on. Come on, mommy. Yeah, I'm coming through the tunnel. Go for it. I don't want to. Just go through the damn tunnel, lady. You're killing me. Just go through it. Okay. That was the yeah. shittiest tunnel ever. Nice tunnel. Actually, the section I want to be in. <laughs> is it? Is like I know what she's going to wear because everybody sent me the photo and I can't unsee it. So now you guys are going to have to see it. Okay. All right. Why do I have keys in my pocket? Okay. It's weird. There it is. Yeah. Oh, I need Nevaeh's help. Dark Ringmaster. Oh. Or Lady of the Ring. Do you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Funko Pops. I like Funko Pops. I'm gonna make my own Funko Pop of me. And you all buy it. I probably won't buy it. I'm gonna buy it, though. Oh, there's the witches back there, too. Oh, my God. Fast forwarding. You want to be for Halloween. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Yeah, no problem. Mom, what's okay. we got some help to find the Monster High stuff. Yeah, I Mommy, I'm proud of what we Look, I know it's like normalized to dress your teenage daughters in nothing, but can we unnormalize that? Can we normalize not doing that? I don't know. It just feels so like when my daughter becomes a teenager and wants to dress this way, like how am I going to like navigate this? Mom's going to do it. That's what's going to happen. But I want my daughter to be like, you know, choose what she wants to do and know that, you know, what you wear isn't going to be, should never be, you know, the way that men treat you. That's because that's, you know, what a lot of people allude to. Oh, you know, your men are just going to look at you because it's like, it's on men. I'm going to teach my sons too. You know, it's on you for what, cup, you know, your brain, that's on you. doesn't matter what she's dressing like, but at the same time, I also wouldn't want my daughter to dress like that. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a hard navigation process, especially coming from the church and like, leaving some of those that shitty toxic culture behind but there's got to be a balance right am i right am i just being prudish again i don't know i don't know but it looks like she's dressing looking at something that shouldn't be worn by what is she 13 14 what a wig cute uh how old is she? Like 10? No. You're not wearing knee-high stockings with a tiny miniskirt? What? That She must be my daughter's age. There's just no way I would allow that. No. Again, wait till your kids are older. Come on. Again, that's me being all prudish. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's my first impression. That's like like first thing that comes out. Is like, as a dad of a daughter, I'm like, no. My, if I really picked that, I'd be like, <laughs> good joke. How about this here one that blows up into it like a sumo wrestler or whatever? That's cool. That has the dress jacket, ears, leg warmers, okay? And the makeup, okay. I'm just missing the boots. The, the boots. boots. So, you know what? They were these boots online I wanted to get, so I will show you when we get home. I know, right? 
Yeah, that's even still that's not good. That's a short skirt. No, don't let a ten year old dress in slutty costumes. I'm sorry. No, why did they even make sizes for kids in that type of stuff? No. Okay, Nevaeh is still picking her outfit, and I'm still picking mine, and Harley wants to go. Oh my god. Uh, Which choices? Shopping is garbage, man. I mean, everything. Okay. You need to make sure it's... Show me. I mean... You just need to give me your information on this. My A-OK. Did she say you need to give me your A-OK? Like you're going to say no to anything there, Alusha. Like you're going to say no to anything. Come on. Get your own cart. Get your own cart. I don't know where they are. Okay, so what I'm going to wear is the festival thing. Comic-Con. Why are you being a roofer? So I got these jeans. I need a clip for this. Okay. Oh, just pull it out of the thing. Ah, uh, nope. How? Will, nope. Is is the only thing available for women in Halloween costumes is slutty costumes? Am I? Have I like? Am I getting old now? What's happening? Everything is slutty. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. That's not appropriate. It's not appropriate for a... Th th what is she, 14? I don't even know. Even if she was 15 or 16, still not appropriate because you're on this channel. Oh my God, I'm going to fast forward. Um, I don't know. I mean, just get them and then you can always show it to them and then if they... Doesn't look like <laughs> just buy them. If you don't like them, throw them in the garbage. Like it. You know what I mean? Okay. Now that they have their costumes, I'm going to have Nevaeh help me pick mine. Okay. Both of those are no. So maybe the one on the right because there's a coat, I guess. It comes with ears, yeah. Here's what you should dress up as. There, Alasha. A white claw. How did you not? That's so simple. Why would you not just get a white claw costume? You just lost an opportunity. That's what I'm going to wear. Yes. Fashion show. Fashion. <laughs> Is that the corset for her? I think it is, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Again, that's a lot of money to wear something once. There's no returns at Spirit Halloween because they know you're going to do some shit in it and then you're not returning that shit. How much? Doesn't say the total, it says zero. So that's what my son does. I don't have to pay $800 for the thing. My son does that. I wonder if the persons that, the people that checked them out are always like, why are you filming the thing? You weirdo. Fallen Angel Choker. That's nice. Is that everything? Oh no, the biggest stuff still. <clears throat> How many costumes is this kid wearing? Holy! How many Halloween parties are you going to? Holy shit! At this point, Nivea is like, I'm gonna get my money's worth. <laughs> Oh, take your time, ladies. Real quick there. Just keep throwing shit on. They always like kids always come over at the end when she's checking. Oh, this, this, this.
this and this. Like, Alicia's going to say no to it. <laughs> we'll do the $10, yeah. Oh, there's a donation thing? Yeah, let me film it. Right. Yeah, we'll do the $10. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the app. Oh, you get to ring a bell. Yay. Because you spent over $1,000 or something? Oh, because they donated 10 bucks. It's not funny. Okay, here we go. We just got back, and here's the receipt. For if you're wondering um, how much costumes cost here, uh, I still gotta take the boys on Monday. No. $827 for four costumes? Are you out of your mind? I guess you bought more than one, right? One was $70, one was $40. No, that's ridiculous. And you only shopped for four of your children? So you're telling me you're gonna spend $3,000 on Halloween just for costumes? You're, cr again, guys. She writes this off. That's why I shouldn't be no one should be surprised. She gets to write it off. Oh, Holly, I loved it. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. How come they only got him a costume? What about everybody else? Cool. Cool. Yeah, Daddy. Daddy opened it. Yeah. Again. Look behind there. There's six bags of Target things that they bought. They haven't even unpacked them yet. They have so much shit they don't even unpack their stuff because she just writes it off. That's probably a video coming out soon. Target haul! What we not get for Halloween, Bodie? It's not Halloween. <laughs> you can try it on, Bodie. You know, it's okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a summer. Okay. I'm obviously blanking this out. That kid is no more than 10 or 11. And that shirt is literally so low that her chest is almost fully exposed. I don't even want to look at us. I'm going to press play and fast forward a bit. Nope. 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 Alicia, don't be so stupid because all the people that follow you think this is okay. And it's not okay. The amount of predators that are watching your show for this... And you're just serving it up in a server plate. You're so stupid. Go. 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 There's no way. Why is there not more angry people about what we're just looking at right now? Why are, Why does nobody care? That is crazy. Even her haters don't comment on that shit. You're so gross, Alicia. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is costume one. No. Choice one. No. You guys have to help us. Nevea is I okay. Maybe she's older than fourteen. I don't know. But no, no, not when you have nine hundred thousand people watching you and your children, telling them where you're going to be, showing the costume that they're going to be wearing at this event. You don't think that these people are these kids are? What if they're even targets? Not even just of predators, but of older men who want to like. Well, yeah, that's a predator. What happens? What happens? When she starts getting responses from men online and starts messaging people secretly and everything else. What happens, Alicia? Protect your fucking kids. Let's pick out which one to wear at Comic-Con. Choice one. Okay. Okay, here is choice two. Let us know what you think. Um, we just gotta get tight. No choices. Choice three here is something modest. Choice three should be a choice. So she went and bought $800 worth of costumes and she just, why didn't, I just don't get it. So you're never gonna be able to return these. So if she doesn't wear the other one, you just throw it in the garbage? Are you wearing tights or no? I don't know. Okay. Maybe, we don't know yet. Okay, choice two, let us know, one or two. Thanks. You're literally modeling your daughter to strangers on the internet and you don't, nobody seems to think that that's wrong. I mean, we do, obviously, cause we're here. But nobody else, like, if you read the comments on those videos, they're like, yeah, yes, queen number two. You don't, like, nobody thinks that's so inappropriate. This is why this is so dangerous, everybody, because nobody sees it. They're not seeing it. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. This is my we filmed this. I just need to have this part. Zoe ordered one on Amazon. I'll show you. Don't do it. Demon oh. Slayer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I love it. Do you? Do you love it? It's, yeah, okay. 
think it's cute. It's they, not. They did a good job picking it out. Thank you. She's just throwing a van to the bus. <laughs> the van picked it, so if you guys hit it, it's her fault. You can't blame a child. Thank you for joining us at Spirit. Oh my God. Too. Your buttons are off. They're off. This is a no go. Nope. No. The answer is no. It's no. No, the answer is no. The answer is no, man. Really? No. No, I, that's what I said. I said the answer is no. No, it's not cute. No, it's. It's not. The stripes are weird. The stripes go down. It's just. <laughs> you'd wear this. I know you would. I just. That's because you have no shame either. You got you and all your friends in the family vlog world. You have no shame. So I would fully expect this from you. It's fine. I don't know what you're going to do for Halloween. I don't care. If you don't hand out full candy bars, you're a loser. Right? If you end up toothpaste and shit like that and raisins, just damn, just damned be to you. Do better. <laughs> Sorry. No, I don't, um, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, see ya. The haunted wooden spoon, get those vibes out of here. The vibes out. <sighs> okay. I'll see you next time. Oh. I'm going to take you guys Halloween shopping with me. I'm going to get the sluttiest costume ever. I'm going to try them on. That's Halloween shopping with Dick Dirty Dads and 800 and something dollars and not even done yet. And they're just frivolously buying shit. And it's all going to end up in the landfill. That's great. Awesome sauce. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> Halloween's coming. A lot of you love Halloween. I know some of you, specifically you, Halloween crazy person. I'm here for it. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget how valuable and amazing and incredible you are. People need you here. I need you here. You look really good in those capris that you're wearing. Is that pants that are like three quarters? It is, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. You look good. I'll see you tomorrow.